Hello and welcome to Ivy Times TV. I'm Sally Turner, joined here today with our reporter Rebecca Schumann to talk about the royal baby frenzy as we all continue to wait and know where is the baby. Beck, it kind of feels a little bit like Groundhog Day. We were here last Friday expecting the baby last weekend. So where is the baby and can we expect to meet it this weekend? The odds are really strong that we're going to meet the baby this weekend. Um, we've already passed Kate's original due date of July 13th, but according to the palace, the original statement, she is due mid-July, so it could be here really soon. Well, there is kind of a kind of growing frenzy, particularly out the front of the Lindo wing. Everyone's waiting and watching. They're calling it the Great Kate Wait. But she is apparently at her parents' home. So what are the odds that she may not give birth at St. Mary's Hospital? According to new reports, she may actually give birth in Buckleberry, which is her hometown where her, she's living with her parents right now, but no one really knows. Um, there's still a lot of media frenzy outside of the Lindo wing, so she could give birth in London or in her parents' hometown. And the bidding wars are still continuing. People mm -hmm. are bidding on whether it's going to be a boy or a girl and the favoured names. So where are they at now? The favoured girl name is still Alexandra, and most bidders say it's still going to be a girl, two to one odds. The most favoured boy name is actually George. And where do those names come from? Are they significant in any way? Alexandra, I don't believe is significant, but George is a long time royal family name. And everyone's talking about is she overdue, but considering we didn't really get an official due date, can we speculate and say she's overdue? Um, it's all speculation. I mean, at this point, we really don't know what her exact due date was because she never announced it, but it's important to keep in mind that most women don't give birth on their exact due date. And she's kind of stayed very hush about like the finer details of the birth. We don't know if it's going to be natural or if it's going to be a C-section. But how are we actually going to find out the moment she goes into labor? Is it going to be media or is it going to be by the palace officials? I can pretty much tell you it's going to be the media. There are so many photographers and press outlets outside of the hospital right now that they're going to let us know the minute she even just arrives at the hospital. And how important is it for those media to break that story? I mean, for a lot of them, they've been camping out there for over a fortnight. Mm -hmm. It's kind of record heat in London. So, you know, how important is it for them to persevere for that single shot? Oh, it's so crucial. I mean, this is going to be the story of the year or even the decade. So it's really important. Well, I guess we continue to wait for the great Kate Wade, and hopefully this weekend we'll have a baby. Hopefully. <laughs> Thanks, Beck. You're welcome.